Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video segment, I'm going to show you how to replace the high pressure oil pump in a DT-466. It's going to be a step-by-step -step video on replacing and I'm going to show you on the scanner why I decided to replace it. If you're not a subscriber, just hit that button become a subscriber right away. So let's get started. Well, after hooking up the Genesis, the scanner to the vehicle, and this is the reading that I have. And that's what led me to replace the high pressure oil pump. First thing I wanna do, we're gonna use two three quarter wrench, and we're going to actually break this line loose, this line loose here, and we're gonna use the second wrench to actually hold the fit in place. And we'll go back here and break this line loose here. You just want to remove this line altogether. And we're just going to remove this line from the filter to the lift pump. There we go. We're going to remove this line here. Next, we're gonna remove this clip. And we're just gonna slide it back, like so. All right, now it's time to remove some bolts. We need a 10 millimeter. We're going to remove this bolt right here. And we're just gonna come on the back side. And it's gonna be a little tight. That's the first one. We have a boat, another 10 millimeter boat. It's gonna be in the inside, right here. I'm gonna break that loose. There it is. And now we have both of those bolts out. All we have to do is just wiggle it and work it on out. There we go. This is your hot well, Here's our old pump. We know that's not any good. So we're just gonna move that to the side. Here's our new pump. the part number and the price and there is a core on this but guys the first thing we're going to do we're going to remove the IPR which is this part right here from the old the old pump we need a three quarter wrench just to remove this nut. Slide all that stuff. We're gonna use an inch and an eight to remove this, this section here. You might have to put in a vise. That's what we're gonna do. And again, we're gonna put an inch and an eight wrench on here. Just screw it right into our new high pressure oil pump. Just want you to know that it actually has an oil ring. The oil ring looks like it's in pretty good shape. And if it isn't, make sure you replace it. Just gonna make sure we have it tight. 
We don't want any leaks. And while we have it in the vise, I want to go ahead and remove the the fittings here for the fill line and put them on our new pump. And if you notice, they have a brass ring here. And we're just gonna screw it right now. You can take time to put some thread tape on the threads if you choose to do so. I think we'll be okay. Let's go ahead and put our, our valve back in place. And again, we need a three quarter wrench to tighten up the nut. That should do it. That should do it. Just make sure you pull out your old gasket, remove it, and you may need a small screwdriver, or need a nose pliers, or an O-ring pick, and just, and it has a cutout, and just install your new, your new gasket. We're gonna install our new high pressure pump. Tighten up our center bolt. Now we have mount back our two bolts. The one on top here and the one in the center that goes in the middle of the pump. And what we're gonna do now, just wanna reconnect our fuel line. And you wanna make sure your seals are in good shape on your fuel line. If not, this is the time to replace them. And we need a three quarter. Then we need to reconnect our oil line. And we need a level 16 wrench. Next, we're gonna reconnect our harness back to our IPR. Then we're gonna start the vehicle. And don't be alarmed if it do if it do not start up right away. It has to build up oil pressure. Once it builds up oil pressure, it'll crank right up.
hope this video was helpful. So that's all you have to do to replace your high pressure pump and your DT-466. Just go step by step with what I did and you cannot go wrong. Listen, I do want to point out one thing. Those two bolts, those two mount bolts, be extra careful when you tighten them in. Try not to tighten them too tight because you can strip out the threads. And you may take one a loose and it may feel a little soft. Just be careful when you go back because if not, when you go back and tighten it up, you can, you can strip and it would actually, you would actually have to put a coal roll kit in it. And you do not want to do that. But I was hoping I would not have to do that. But if I did, I would have filmed that in the video too as well. Listen, thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to hit the notification bell to let you know when I have a video that actually comes out. Take care and God bless.